Yeah, what is going on? So let's show you kind of how to use the LaCroix extension, kind of our success. Um, right here, I've pulled up our last month's, um, you can see from 10.1 to 10.31, um, our sales. So we had about $181,331.42 in sales. Um, to date last year, so you can see kind of numbers, so you can see what we did last year on these days, almost nothing. I kind of sold books at the time last year, some books here and there, you can see like small, small numbers. So this has been massive growth just in, um, in the last month. Uh, we started out in May, so this has been from May, let me go to May, let's go May 1 to, let's go to now, 31st, or the 11th. All right, so you can see where we started out in May. So this is right where we started. Uh, you can see we just started putting things in. So May 7th, we had sold about seven units, and we have that peak growth. Um, November 1st was the highest, was the highest month or highest amount um, we've had in a while. Um, it's dropped off a little bit here just because we kind of ran out of supplies um, and went out for town. But you can see in those a couple months we. Did five hundred thirty-three thousand dollars units ordered. Yada yada yada. Um, ASP average sales price about a hundred dollars. Let's go to our profit and loss statement. Um, so this is let me just scroll down a little bit. So let's go to October. Let's go to June. So this is an inventory labs. So you guys don't have inventory labs. It's a fantastic little thing. Um, let me pull the screen up a little bit. Okay. Um, we'll go over the net. So we netted out we netted out fifty thousand dollars after all expenses. Our total expenses were one hundred thirteen thousand dollars. Here's kind of the things like these are um, cost of goods sold um, on these dates were eight thousand fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, thirteen thousand. Um, the sales. Let me scroll down. Cool. Um, the sales were twenty six thousand from one to five. Um, October 1st to the 5th, 6 to 12 was 41, 38, 41, and 31. So the question is, how do we blow up so big from 0 to $181,000 last last month? We'll, we'll break $200,000 this month relatively easy, depending on what we can buy, but we're on track to break that. Um, how? Um, we've been flipping marketplace to marketplace over the last, since May. All right, so since May we've been doing marketplace marketplace flips and we built up some extensions to help you guys out. So let me jump into how, um, here we go. Let's go over things we're gonna talk about. Um, so we're gonna show and talk about our success with eBay and Amazon results. You already, you guys already saw. Um, explain the concept of the Sorpin eBay Amazon. All right, so we're going secondary markets across the board. So we're buying on secondary markets and selling on the secondary market. So we can beat people's prices. We can beat Amazon's prices very often. It's because we're buying it below. Anybody else can buy it from because we're buying it on the secondary market. We already taken the depreciation off the top of it since we are buying it. And then we're using Amazon's third party logistics FBA to do all the work. So all we do is buy the products online, ship them to our location, repack them all in one box or multiple big boxes, all the products together, and then ship them out back to Amazon. Um, why this works, there's a few reasons, is because Amazon is the biggest powerhouse giant, so we're kind of arbitraging all the other markets around it and scraping off that um, that profit off each one. eBay, OfferUp, LetGo, Facebook Marketplace, Macari, all those guys. Um, the laws we are allowed to do this. Um, it doesn't violate anything to do all these to um, resell products. Um, there's a lot there. I don't know what it's called right now, but it says you are allowed to sell any second party um, items back again unless they don't break. Like. Against, you can't resell some guns, and there's specialty laws for that. Um, so let's talk about the basis of Lacroix. So let's jump over to our um, handy dandy, uh, what is it, Lacroix thing. Let me re-download. So how you download this? First off, let's go and let's show you guys how to download this. I need to re-download mine because we have new. If you guys ever see, um, there we go. If you guys ever, if your software ever doesn't work, you go back into um, the the Google Chrome store. So let's go Google Chrome store. Go to the Google Chrome store. Go into it. I have two up here. There'll be two little bars, and just type in Lacroix. Cool. 
to LaCroix, boom, you'll see this. We just launched, so you'll be a few people to get it. Look on it, I'm gonna remove it from mine because I need to re-update it. Remove it and then add it back. Add extension. Okay, cool. Okay, so the concept of eBay to Amazon is a few different things, right? So you're finding these products on the secondary market and you are flipping them on Amazon. A few things about Amazon before we get started. Um, the ways that, uh, So the ways that we can really um, track what you're trying to find and find the best products, um, for, there's three different steps, right? Three different steps. Uh, one is finding a brand, brand that you can sell, right? Brand. So. Brand that you can sell. So everything is gated on Amazon basis brands or subcategories, but brands are really the main one. You might get gated on some things on um, that are not that you have are ungated on the brand. You just gotta figure that out and go from there. Um, but the biggest the biggest hit are gonna be brands. Brands do deals with Amazon and then they have restricted categories. It's really just an antitrust law, but that's a whole different thing. They're probably gonna breaking up sooner or later by that. But um, here is the kind of the steps. So you try to find that brand you can sell, right? And then find a model, model of that brand that has profit, right? Profit on eBay or Amazon, or you can refill back on Amazon if you want to, but we really stick for eBay, Macari, OfferUp, Go, Facebook Marketplace is the best place to do it. Um, so you find that brand you can sell, you find a model inside that brand, and then you buy it buy it boom done so I'm gonna show you how we do this right so we're gonna take a few ones that we we buy all the time you guys can you guys can use them I don't really care um, let's skip this there we go gonna add product Oops. let's go back over here we're going to go to catalog, add product. Okay, so this is going to kind of show you what you cannot and you can and cannot sell. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do Walkman. So we're going to do the Sony Walkman right here. Um, so if you know you can sell it, you go to so see product li uh, details. You go to listing limitations. We can sell ours in new and in used condition. You're going to be able to sell more used items than you're new. So if you want to start out buying new items or used items, that's fine as well. There's a lot more online. We can sell this one new and used. Show variations. And there are a bunch of them. Sell new and used. Okay. So we know we can sell some of these products on Amazon. So what we are going to do, see the sales rank here. The sales rank is very important. So you can go and click on, boom, right here. Click on what the product is. So this product is selling for $149.95. Uh, um, we use Keepa. Uh, it's about twenty dollars a month, or they have a free version. I greatly, you guys should definitely buy, pay for the version. You guys don't have to, but we do. See all these dips here. See all these massive spikes. Each spike is a sale, um, and some of these sales inside. So this actually sells a lot of them, right? So if we go to, we can also see what category this is in too. So it's in forty thousand electronics. That's very good. So we're going to think, okay. We can sell this, it's selling for $149.95, uh, and there's a bunch of sales. We also use Jungle Scout, I'll bring it down here. It's kind of expensive, like 30 bucks a month, but really worth it. Um, they sell about 18 a month, you can even click on this and it can give you some more details. This is kind of the premium version. Uh, this actually isn't giving us that good stuff. But yeah, it sells about selling about 19 a month. 18 a month, which is very, very helpful as well. So we know we can buy 18 of these bad boys and they're gonna sell. Um, to then recheck on top of that, we go, okay, there's a bunch of dips going down here. That means there is a lot of action and a lot of people buying this. Cool. So now let's use the LaCroix software on this. You click on this bad boy. All right, so we're gonna go brand. So this brand is gonna be Sony. I can't connect to your Wi Fi network. You can find setup. Thank you. Um, so we're gonna go to Sony, um, and you can also use title search as well, or you can do Walkman in the title, Walkman in the title, all categories. Let's go to that electronics category because we know they're selling there. 
um, this max new price, I always try to just put it pretty high, 10,000. It just needs to be over the price you're looking for. Um, the sales rank is the most important part. So we're trying to find stuff between one and 80,000 in electronics. There is a, um, a graph below, it's free. Um, it'll tell you always stay inside that 1% um, 1% range of the of the sales rank. So you always want to stay in the 1%. We'll show you guys in that in a second, but it's below. Very, very, very helpful. Again, it's free. So what we're going to do is click on this. We have Walkman. So it's Walkman's in the title. We have the ROI we don't need. Um, electronics, that's the category. We know the electronic category because we scrolled down and we saw it here, right? Yeah, there we go. So it's in electronics. Um, and the sales rank, here's the sales rank right here. The sales rank is very important. That means how many sell a month. And then we just hit search. Let's see if we can find anything. Okay, we found a bunch of items. So this is what you're going to see all the time on your LaCroix software, right? So to do a couple things, um, let's go through the basics. So the brand, so we pull we pull this data and the data comes from the brand and model you search, right? So whenever you hit this button, it's gonna search the brand and model, okay? Also the brand, we're pulling that up and the key, we're, we're pulling up the keyword Walkman in the title, um, but if you wanna type in Sony, it's going to bring up all the Sony things in that sales rank category or that sales rank number, right? So between one and 80,000 electronics, if you click on Sony, it's gonna pull up all the Sonys that have brand and that brand in that. Sometimes Amazon does not have these brand things in it, so it becomes a bit harder. That's why sometimes we use the keyword search. It's a little more helpful sometimes. Okay, so let's go through this. So let's go Let's go down this, let's kinda of see this. If you can see this, it says Sony, uh, the model number is NWE, 395 slash B, so we can click on this one. Okay, it brings you to this location. If you're on a separate page, it will not show you to it, show it to you, so I go back, click it again, and then here we go. Now it's gonna start loading these things. So what it's loading is it's loading the, e it's comparing the eBay price and the Amazon price, because you wanna find the best product. Um, dude, uh, there's, there's so many used products out there, like used is the one of the best, we, I believe just for starters because there's so much out there you don't need to search a lot for it but we're going to scroll down these things and you see brand new we're going to go here we can also click on this um, the product I'm gonna click on the product and it's going to bring it up in a bigger picture this is always going to stay on the screen when you click off you can go back to it and it will come back to this direct one so we can kind of we can kind of say okay this is this okay yeah this is this but we're going to start losing money because the ROI is not there yeah this looks similar I can buy this one it's on bid right now um, we can wait for the bid or use an auction sniper. Um, there's a bunch of them out there. But I'm going to move on to the next one. I don't like anything there. It's not my cup of tea. So we're going to go back. Okay. Um, this one is not a Sony. I'm going to stick with Sony. So let's go and find some. Because you put Walkman in. Because I put Walkman into the search. It's going to pull everything that has Walkman in it. It's going to be a pain in the butt. That's why having the brand in there is sometimes very, very helpful. Let's go back and let's search. Let's search that Sony. And then title, Walkman, categories, remember we're going to go to that um, electronics category, that max search rank we want to do, or search price we want to do pretty high, it doesn't matter what price is, as long as it's high, it's just going to block everything below that. Let's go 1 to 80,000. Remember, we go everything in the 1%, so this is 1% of electronics, and click below, there's going to be a link. Um, to the PDF that has all the 1%. So all you have to do is click on these these subtitles, put the put that one between one and 80,000 and just hit search. It's gonna pull up brand Sony, the Walkman title as well. Remember again, if it doesn't have Sony in the brand, it's gonna miss it, so that's gonna be a problem. So this is 31, I think this is the one we looked at actually. Interessante. Silver and a felt, here we go. Okay, so that was easy enough. So we just found something we can make some money on. So we have a 81.27. Honestly, Sony, Sony Walkman is probably one of the easier ones to do. Uh, we have 81.27% uh, ROI. So I'm just going to go calculate real fast. Let me bring this up. Where is the calculator? Here we go. Okay. So we want to times this. So we're paying... 
price of shipping. So we have the shipping price as well, so everything on top of that. So 79.99 times that by 0.8127 equals. So you're going to make a $65 profit on this. It's, uh, it's a pretty good flip. Um, for the first one, so we've only clicked on two so far. We already made 65 bucks uh, in profit. So I'm going to add this one to my cart. Uh, make sure it's the correct one. So again, so if you look here, it says SRF 80, uh, 58 silver. Silver doesn't matter too much, but as long as you can see in the photo. Okay, this is the correct one. This is the correct one. Let's actually click on this button here. It's the ASIN button. It's going to bring us to the Amazon page. And if we want to double check and see if we can sell this, we're going to grab, there's an ASIN up here in the top left, or we can go down to the bottom here where that is. There's another ASIN. We're going to plug that into this, um, this add product category that we did before. So I'm going to plug it in. We're going to view listing limitations. We can sell it new and used. So we literally just made $65 in a couple minutes. And we know that this is the exact same one we even searched the first time, guys. Like this is this sells 18 a month. This is gonna sell instantly. You can see the buy box up here is, is selling pretty fast. Um, it's it's an it's an easy 65 bucks, right? So let's go back to the electronics. Oh yeah, there's one thing we're gonna try to fix in the future is it's jumping to um, it. You have to go hit back on the page. So if you're on, if you're on Amazon, you hit the ASIN button. You have to go back. Um, so I'm gonna add this to my cart. No thanks. Ran into a technical problem, blah, 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 blah. Please, get the cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we already found one product that's 65 bucks skis. So let's go back and try it again. So we already have all these results of stuff. These are all in the and these are all in the categories in the search rankings that we know sell fast. So let's just go down here's the video walking. This one's weird. Let's see if anything's valuable in here, right? Okay. Is that price tag fifteen hundred dollars price expensive all right so what we can do is click on it so we're gonna click on this and we're gonna go to um let me slide this over so you guys can see we're gonna go to that new right here click on new okay open box uh skip it skip it skip it this is interesting this guy's multiple of these i know he has one uh, open box. I would skip this one. First off, it's too expensive. Um, second off, you have no idea. This use price is massive, though. You have no idea what you're gonna buy because there's no pictures. Uh, I already know these are these ones are bad. I just don't deal with them right now. Look on these sunny waterproof headphones. New other. This is interesting. So you can you can always buy these new other things. Just make sure they are new, not used. Um, when you get them in, you have you have a healthy. Um, return ability on eBay so if these are not new like what they said they are not new other maybe they have some sort of ding or whatever um, you can always buy those and then flip them but um, let's move on to the next one so we already know okay all these these are all the, roughly the same here let's go this one. Oh, here we go it's not bad 14% this one has 14% ROI want a little bit bigger you can all what we can do as well is for this guy let's see what we can do with this guy um what we do all the time is i just message people all the dang time uh, let's block this out Add that we're here. So what I do all the time is I go in, I contact these sellers. I know he has multiple of them. And I'm just gonna ask him. I go to other contact seller and I'm gonna go, hello. Um, are you interested in selling these bulk? If so, how many do you? Then I hit send message, and I just watch his messages here and find them again. Uh, they'll usually reply pretty fast, but we know it has a 14% ROI. That's before eBay, um, that's for Amazon fees. Let's talk about Amazon fees right now. So let's go back to this, um, this one we just put into our cart. So here, 
So what I have, I have this free extension. It's called like AZ, uh, AZ Scout FBL Calculator. We'll probably put it in the description below. Um, and I click on it. It's free, so I just know what it is. All right, so the last one, what was it at? Um, let's say it was at 80 bucks, right? Here's the exact prices. So our net profit per unit, so e this is Amazon's fees. So it wasn't that $65 like I said before, there is Amazon fees on top of that. So there's Amazon fees, profit per unit's 44 bucks. We made about 55% ROI, that's after. We are adding this into our own extension to help you guys out even more, but it's not up yet. So you can use this extension for free, it's in the description below. So again, we made 55 bucks off this thing. So let's grab it. Let me see if I can go in. I should have one thing in, yep. I just go to checkout. Go to checkout. Okay. Um, yeah, let's blank this stuff out over here. Um, let's go into my PayPal. Ah, oh, tax. Um, there is tax on these things. Actually, I'm going to use it on my another account. I'm going to save this one. Um, all you do is go in and just go into it buy it but tax we have a tpt license you can also apply for tpt license some country some states have to pay for it um but it gets rid of all sales tax which is super super nice um for arizona you just google tpt license uh tax privilege license for other states and then follow it i know california you have to pay like 500 bucks arizona's like a hundred dollars it's well worth the time right now if you want to it just adds this cuts into your profits we're only making 40 dollars after tax um i'm gonna jump this onto my secondary account which we have a bunch of we have our tax privilege license on um in the future so i want to keep this one in the cart for right now i'm gonna i'm gonna buy in the future or in the recent the near future once we're done with this okay so i'm just gonna go in i'm gonna go to the next page okay okay i'm looking for these older brands these old walkmans they have a high price and people are selling them roughly all the time um let's go click on this thing okay D. okay all right, this one's interesting. So Amazon has a lot of things that are um, have a lot of has a lot of problems with the model number sometimes. So it's taking up D D E three fifty Sapphire. So it's pulling up a lot of weird stuff. Um, but this is the right one. D seven seven three. What you can do is you can click on this. Let's click on this. Now let's get rid of Sapphire. Let's research this. Five enter. Boom. So let's go to that new section. There's no right here. Go to that new. Okay, look for that sapphire. Okay, nothing to that sapphire, so let's go to the next one. Let's get it back. Anything with a renewed on it, I don't even really mess with. You can still use it to help find stuff. Oh, also here, this one right here has no model, so you can search by the model and title. We're gonna have a title search in the near future, but right now we do not. But anything that does not have a model number, it makes it really hard to search for, so you don't need to um, worry about that. Right now, you can just search it in the title. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this guy. So it's going for two and ninety. So I'm gonna click on him. I'm gonna go to the use section or the new the new version. A uh, bit too expensive and a different color. Oh, here we go. Uh, listen, here's exactly this. It's shipping from Spain. This is fine. If it ships from Spain, you should pay a higher, um, higher dollar amount. So two ninety. This might be interesting to Texas our messages guys. See what he can do on it. Um, but yeah, let's check the Ace real fast. This exact the Sapphire version. Yeah, that's the black version. Not this is dark blue or black or whatever color it is, but all right, here we go. So here's Keep Graph. It sells a decent amount. I say one, two, three, four, about four a month, maybe three a month, depending on the month. I think three and four month. So it's a, it's a decent mover. Um, so let's see what we need to buy this thing at to make a decent, healthy margin. Okay, so it's selling that two ninety right now. The net margin, Amazon's fees are about fifty bucks. So if we buy it at that two, it's wanting two twenty right now. Two twenty five, we make fifteen bucks. It's not not worth the two twenty five we have to pay for it. But let's see what we can get for it. All right, if we get it for hundred fifty bucks, that might be interesting. Let's message this guy and see if he's selling for hundred fifty bucks. So we're going to his account. 
uh, we're going to contact approximately euro. So we had he's gonna think about euro base. I'm gonna see if we can do a hundred euro for it. Let's see if that works. Can you do hundred euros for this message? Can you do one hundred euro for this? Cool. Um, that is a great hack, is going to other countries and buying things from. We do it all the time, especially Canada. Um, just kind of a little tip. Um, but this Spain one will work if, if, we get, if we can get it cheap enough. All right, cool. But let's go back into our extension. Let's hit this back button. It kicks us back to the beginning. Yes, I know it's going to be fixed in the future. Um, Sony. Here's another one. This one pulls up perfectly because that model's there. Again, we're going to have a keyword search. Um, for it, okay. Here is one that is brand spanking new, but they want way too much for it. Way too much. Maybe we can negotiate them down. Here's another one. Best offer. Interesting. All okay. right. So we need to buy this around 200 bucks. Skis. Um, actually, a bit less. Let's go for like 150. Let's see if this guy will sell me for 150. Uh, I'll put two in. See if he does. Hmm. Maybe because you never know. It's always worth. It's always worth making an offer. Like it takes you two seconds to do it. Um, people, especially right now, are trying to move items. So I'm just gonna do this on every one of these things. Offer that 150. Boom. Oh, let's get me back out. There's a lot of problems with eBay right now. What? Verify your age. What is going on? I'm starting to make too many offers. Um, it's great to have a better, uh, a little new, older account. Like our other accounts that you can just buy a bunch of stuff on. They don't bother you. They, but they want all my information. I don't want to do it on the secondary account. Well, let's keep going. All right, so I make offers on these bad boys. Let's see if we make anything else. Um, here. Let's give me the yellow version. Let's go on the same thing. Even if you want to make it 20, use 23, you make 23, 27% ROI right here. We change that profit. Here's the even better one, make 330. Use this very, very good market to deal with. Um, okay, so we also block out anything from China. You don't want to buy anything from China. This is a f this is a fake version. A lot of these things are coming fake, especially if they're coming from China. So we do not sell anything that is from China at all, at all, at all. This is how you get IP claims. Um, it's sketchy. Hong Kong. We we block it on red, so just don't buy it. The Russian Federation. I'll probably skip this one too. It's probably from China. It's too close. Um, Japan. I would mess with Japan, but that's a too expensive. Um, this used one's really good. So if you buy this used one, you will make a hundred and fourteen percent ROI. So this is a lot of money. It's on bid. You can definitely buy this. Just make sure it turns on and it works. All about used is making sure it works. So let's do our manufacturer. This is another good one. That we're going to do. Let's just run down this one here. Again, used. You can make some money off it. This one's weird. Sony Premium Signature High Res Walkman. That's strange. See, how there's no, um, there's no model, so it's not pulling up. It just, it just pulls up Sony. So what I do for that one? I just go boom. This is for two thousand dollars. That's super interesting. So let's see what it's talking about. This is strange. This is strange. High resolution Walkman. Who would buy this thing? I say that all the time. So you can always you can always offer on this stuff. Like let's, let's go like fucking okay. here. Let's see how much see how much we can pay for it. If there's any sales. But I don't think that works. I just yeah, it doesn't work. Okay. This thing sells actually not bad surprisingly for the price tag, not bad at all. Very weird, very weird. International version seller warranty that is so strange. Let's see how much you can buy this thing for. Okay, I, 
Let's see if we buy it for 1500 bucks. We can buy it for it. 1500 bucks make 35% profit. I usually try to make 35% profit. But let's go and see if we can buy this for 1500. Ooh, it's going to be tough. Should be lower. There's competing offers. This means just people are watching it. It's trying to give you, it's trying to convince you to buy more. Oh, buy restriction. Damn it. All right, since this is a new account, it wants me to go in and pay for it and stuff. Oh my god, pain in the butt. Okay, but this is kind of just of what we're doing. Let's see if we can find any more and put it in the card for now. I can all go back and buy that. Here's another one, guys. Oh, yeah, I think this one we just bought, actually. We put this one into our, our cart. That's what we put in a cart. This is actually a better listing. Oh, here's another one, too. Dope. You kind of find these things. Things that are low priced, they're going to be low priced. Let's add it to the cart. No thanks. Okay, so we have two of these exact same ones. These are good buys. I'm going to go back and offer this guy less for it. But we still make money on it either way. So we're probably making, so at 40 bucks, we're probably making about $30. Again, I want to make an offer on this one. We already know it's going lower. I'm going to make an offer on this one and make even more money on it. I'm probably going to offer him 50 bucks and see if we can get it. All we do is check out and go from there. Okay, let's see if we can find um, good our products. Add to my top list. Oh, yeah. Cool. So let's go to this. So we, we know this has been working out relatively well, or this product especially. So let's find this product again. Where are you? I think it's the next page. Um, so we we know this product here is doing really well. So let's go and let's add this to your top list. So we add this to our top list. That means we can check it out. These are the ones you want to check every day. We know it's, we, we've we already bought it. We've paid money for it. We know it's a good product. So we don't have to go back and worry about it. I'll show you, let me search just one last guy here. And see if we can pick anything else up real fast. Um, green. Oh, no, green. Okay, so this is green. I would see what the green is selling for. If it is, if you are, if you can buy it, or if it is selling green. So this is the white version. Let's see if the green version is selling. Here we go. Ah, a little bit less money. Let's see if anything's buying it though. Uh, check that keeper graph. Not a very, very good keeper graph. Only a few have sold in the recent month. I'd probably say skip this one. If you want to hold on to it, that's fine. And unless it's, it is Q4. I'd pick it up for Q4, but other than that, I would pass on it. Um, but this is the green person. These white ones are selling really well. Yeah, these. I would definitely pick up the white before the green. You can even check on some of these things. Like, okay, this one, I would probably skip. These brick marks just means when you not worth the time. This blue one's kind of cool. I kind of like blue one better. This blue one I would pick up as well, and it's selling for even more money. Let's see if we find this blue one. I think there's probably a way to find this one. Okay, go back. Yes, yes, I know. I need to go to the secondary page. I know, I know, I know. Okay, there's only there's only two one sign that's new. Ooh, if this was new. That'd be fantastic. Yep, there's only one sign that's new. I'd skip it and get the next one. Yep. Let's talk about the my top list real fast. So we go to the my top list, and this is always keeping your best, your best products. I only put the best products that I know I purchased on this, on this list, and all you gotta do is click on it, and it's gonna direct you to this product again, and it's gonna be able to find it, right? So I usually check this every day, every other day, um, as much as I can. Ooh, here's another good one. So here's another one. So let's add this to the cart as well. Make sure this is new. Oh, damn it, it's a little bit beat up, but not bad it's still brand new as I this car okay so I think in a few minutes 10 20 minutes we've made okay so if this one's a $40 $44 profit this one's a $44 profit so that's $80 we'll probably get this around the same price I'm gonna go out and message them and submit an offer I'm trying to get a bit lower actually so let's say we can get all four of these for 44 bucks that means we made about a hundred and Thirty-two dollars in however long this is. How long this has been? About about thirty minutes. That's me explaining as well. You once you get it down, you can kind of move. But one hundred and thirty-two dollars in thirty minutes is not a bad little bit of profit, especially for the first one. So let's go reach back in the handy dandy pad so you can find anything. Here's not here's a couple other ones you guys if you want to look at them and try to buy them. Um, also, let's scroll up so you guys can see this. Boom. 
Um, here's a few other items. Here's a few other brands you can sell. Um, let's see. Shows I'll calculate the profit we make. See the hand fees and costs. Just did that. That's the Amazon. That's the that's the calculator I showed you guys up here. Um, the free. It's called. It is called. Um, let's see what it's called. It's like AMZ Scout FBA calculator. It's free. Great product. I love it. I love it. Love it. Um, good ROI products. Yep. So that's talk about. Just keep clicking it. You'll see that bright green pop up. Check and see if you can sell. We've already done that. You go back into your Amazon account and make sure you can sell it. Um, how the search function works. Yep. Went through that. Um, but yeah. So let's go. Let's talk about the next step. So when we buy these products, so let's look, when we buy these three Walkmans that I'm just about to buy, this is probably gonna get tanked because there's so many people watching this. Um, but I'm gonna buy these three Walkmans, the ones we made $132 off of with a good ROI, like 56% ROI. I'm gonna buy these. They're gonna get shipped to our location. We are going to scan them into our Amazon. You can use the Amazon Sellers app. Let me pull it up. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, it looks like this little guy oh, on that bottom, the little black little tag. It's just Amazon. Click on it. Okay, this is kind of this, so. This is what we've done so far today. About about six thousand dollars in sales. You go to add a product on the top. So you add a product, add a product. You can either scan the barcode in or type in the brand and model number, and you want to find the exact same listing with the exact same ASIN, or you can put the ASIN in the ASIN that we pulled up. The ASIN is that thing that connects you back to Amazon, um, or you put that into it, and it'll pull up that exact listing. You want to bring up that exact listing, or it won't sell because that listing is the one, the listing that you are be able to sell things on, right? So you go that, you said okay, and then you go back into your Amazon, and then you'll print out little barcodes. We'll have the things you need to get started, um, little barcodes for the labels. You wanna buy those. Also, you want to pick up, um, what are they called? Uh, half sheets. Oh, we use half sheets. You can always have normal paper to use for like labels for um, your shipments. But those are the few things we do. Um, also, a scale is very, very helpful as well. Um, we'll put all those things in the description. Um, but yeah, those are the things we use for eBay and Amazon. Let me, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. I'm going to go buy these things and make $132. Peace.